Listen, YouTube has me down this rabbit hole. All I've been doing is watching ASMR eating videos. And I don't know if it's because I'm doing keto and I'm craving or because I'm not like, oh my God, the sounds like blah, blah, blah. No, I don't know. But I'm just like hooked. Like I'm watching them all the time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jessica and this is my fashion and beauty channel. So for today's video, I am doing a swatches first impression try on of the um, Norvina palette. I'm sure many people have seen it all around everywhere. <laughs> um, this palette really spoke to me when I saw the color story. It's very whimsical, um, a lot of shimmers, which I enjoy, and there's also neutrals, which I really enjoy, and um, I just thought it was super pretty, like, it's just very pretty, very girly, um, yeah, I just, I really, really like it, and I'm going to test it out today. I just think that maybe there's not enough, um, like dark enough shades for, you know, creating a smoky eye or something. Um, you definitely would have to go into another palette to, um, you know, depending on your skin tone, of course. But for me, my skin tone, I know that I would have to get something darker than that. So, yeah. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 shades, seven mattes, seven like shimmer metallic foil. Um, two of the mattes seem to have a little bit of sparkle in them. This one, I don't know if you can see, yeah, see right there. And this one, so they're not like fully matte. Um, so I'm just gonna do some quick swatches on, I don't know where. Maybe here. So this is Dreamer. It's a champagne. Oh, these are so soft. This is Summer. And you have Wild Child. And then rose gold. That's really pretty. Celestial. Oh, sorry. Celestial. Um, then we have dazzling, which is also really pretty. And then there's Drama, which is a dark eggplant shade. So those are all the metallics right there. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, super pretty. And now let's do the mat on the other side, or other arm. So... We've got base, which is probably going to be too light. Yeah, it's like a, it's a very creamy shade. We have soul, which is like a periwinkle. Which is actually not bad swatched. Incense, which is like a taupe. Camel. It's a cool tone brown. And then there's love. So that's four right there. So far they feel really nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna try it out on my eyes and see. <sighs> so we have volatile, which is like another cool tone brown. Well, taupe, I guess. This is more brown. This is more taupey purple. Eccentric, which I really like this color. 
I really like that. And then we have Passion, which is like a burgundy maroon shade. So those are all the mats right there. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, so you do get a brush with the palette. Um, I don't know if I use these ever. They feel all right. Nothing like amazing. I'll just put it in my brush collection. And yeah, so I'm gonna go in and do a look. You can see that these shivers are super duper soft. Focus. Like very soft. Like I already indented them. So. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on. Let me get my color switcher maru thing. Get myself prepared. So I haven't really been on lately because I've been so busy and I've been trying to like rearrange the furniture in this room to kind of film better. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with something smoky. I've set my eyelids already with um, powder. I've got on the Fenty Minted Mojito um, highlighter just to stick with the cool toned theme-ish because you know purples, pinks, they're kind of cool toned. So I think I want to do something a little dark and see how it works out. So I'm going to go in with, I'm going to start with passion right away. I'm going to put it all over my lid. I'm getting crazy now, you know. Is there fallout? I don't know. I'm going to pack this on the lid. And then eventually we'll blend it out after. But for now, I just want to get the color on the lid. Right, now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to so I'm going to go in with Soul, which is the periwinkle color and I want a more so I'm gonna go in with this and help blend my crease out it does have a little shimmer in it so I hope it's not gonna oh hello I hope this goes good <laughs> oh this is dark shit wow that's a lot of pigment all right, now we gotta blend it out. Shit, that's a lot of pigment. I'm gonna pack this back on. I hope I don't start to look like a freaking bruise. Okay, we need to start the eye over again. I don't like it at all. I can't, I don't know.
first color I'm going to use is love this pink shade right here I'm going to put this through my crease oh very pigmented oh yes I like this color There is definitely a lot of fallout. Um, the mats are not like soft or anything, but you can see here, um, there definitely is fallout right there. Which I don't mind as long as I get the pigment and the color payoff, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go in with um, Passion right here. God damn. Guys, my hair falls out and goes everywhere. <clears throat> so I'm just going to place this here. Tap, tap, tap. And then bring it in halfway So far it's all right. I want to take a clean brush and just soup these guys together. All right, now I'm gonna take a concealer. I'm going to take this um, Master Conceal by Maybelline. This is Fair. It's the latest one that I own. So that I can get a good... I'm just going to put a bit on my hand. Oh, it's so watery. Gross. Anyways. And I'm going to cut my crease like half way. I always get scared when I do this. kind of setting a little bit I'm gonna go in 
with Wild Child. I'm gonna put that in halfway and then I think I'm gonna go with another one. Let's start with Wild Child. Mm. Okay, that's not working. I'm really picking up on my brush. This color, although very, very beautiful, it's a little hard to work with. Let's see if I... Well, I guess with my fingers better. Not that I really wanted to use my finger. But already that. But even on my finger, like, it's not super pigmented. Like, I don't know. Okay, I need to define my... I'm going to take this small and go back in with um, passion just to get that crease back. Right here. I think I want to pack a little bit of drama right here at the end for like a thing. Doing a thing. I only recently started doing cut creases, which is probably why I'm not that great at them. Um, this is a great brush for cutting your crease. It's, um,. From Wet n Wild. I got it on Amazon for like 99 cents. Okay, so I'm gonna put. Oh, drama picks up. Look how nice that picks up. Is that how you're supposed to focus it? I don't know. Anyways. And I just wanna put it here to blend out these two shades. wild child along like halfway along my lower lash line and my inner corner I like to have a deep inner corner okay I want to put Mm, love and passion on my lower lash line so I'm gonna take this brush I'm gonna go in with passion I'm gonna start with the dark shade first I'm gonna run it all along here with my mouth open extra wide so you could see inside. <laughs> Why do we have those weird faces? It's just so weird. I wonder if anybody's ever done a Makeup tutorial mukbang at the same time. That would be funny. Alright, so this is it. 
so far. Um, this 24-7 Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil on Alkaline. It's like a maroon shade. There's a shade right there. I'm going to put it in my waterline. Just to make it extra pink. Or... I'm full of glitter. Full. I hope this mic works. I don't even know. I'm using the um, NYX Matte Liquid Liner <clears throat> in black. Um, it's Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm switching this at this moment between these two. Um, I've been using both. They're both good. The Bad Gal Bang, though, is so hard to take off. It's all, It's like it's waterproof, but it isn't. Or is it? I don't think it is. Yeah, no. But yeah, it's really hard to come off. I really have to tug at my lashes, which I don't really like. Alright, so that's with mascara. And... I'm gonna add. I'm loving these um, lashes from shopmissy.com. They're in the style Alexis. I think this pack was like five bucks. So cheap. I'm down. So let me go ahead and put some gold. Alright, that's fine for now. I have so much sparkle all over my face. And now I need a lip. I'm taking the Elf and Christian Siriano um, collab. The color is called pink. More, it's just a gloss. I just want to learn our color. And 
I think. Should I add more highlight? Are we liking this look? It's alright, right? Let's put some more highlight. Actually, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna use Dreamer from this palette. This one here and highlight with it. Wow, there's so much follow. Like, it's crazy. I always highlight here, my brow bone, <sighs> Jesus, So, alright, so the video is over now. Let us all go in peace. I'm joking. No, I'm not joking about the peace part. But the video is over now. Um, I do really like the palette. I mean, yes, there's lots of fallout. The shadows are very soft. But, I don't know. I don't care because I like it. I like the colors. I don't really have anything. Mm, I didn't have anything like this, but I bought the Violet Voss hashtag palette, which is like a purpley palette. So that and this are really the only two purpley ish palettes that I own. Um, so yeah, I really, I really like the tones in this. I mean, this and this. With like this or even this for fall is going to be a banger. Okay. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and me just rambling on. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And follow me on Instagram because I post pictures almost daily. Not every single day but almost. I try you know you're going to be seeing this look up there just now. Alright guys, thanks! Bye!